Hi guys and welcome back to Jojo's Corners, La Esquina de Jojo. If you're new to my channel, hello, how are you? If you're not new to my channel, welcome back. Today, I am looking a little rough, but let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. So, I decided to do a full face using new products that I have got and I forgot to record the intro. So here I am recording the intro. So the makeup brand that we're going to be using today is Juvia's Place. Um, it was not a full face because there's certain products that I couldn't find, but I will be using the new Juvia's foundations. I have two because I missed the shade. I ordered Casablanca and then I ordered Bogota. And I believe it was Casablanca that was a little bit too light and Bogota was just a little bit, I would say too dark, but it was not my shade. So what I ended up was mixing both of them and you're gonna see how it turned out. To my experience, it turned out really good. I also use the new Juvia's Concealer. This is in the, sh in the shade J19. As you can see, it's very light. I Believe it or not, I made that work. Um, I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered this shade, but I made it work. As you can see, it's a shade J19. Then from this makeup look, I use the Saharan 2, and I also use the Zulu palette. From the Zulu palette, I use this brown shade right here, and I use this one as well as this one right here. Then, from the Saharan 2, I use uh, this one as well as this one for the inner corner of my eyes. Um, I also use the new Juvia's uh, City Powder. I use the shade Calamari, which I think <laughs> it turned out pretty good. Um, I guess what you see online is not always how it is. I really thought that Casablanca was going to be very close to be my shade, but it's more yellowish. And then Bogota, it was a little bit too light for me. So like I said, together, I think they work pretty good. i probably going to end up giving this to a friend or a family and then maybe trying on another shade. Um, as well as the concealer. I mean, I made the concealer work, but I think it's a little bit too light for me. So I probably ended up gonna end up giving this away to a family member or a friend and then just buying another one. But for the look, I think it turned out pretty amazing. So remember, if you like the video, don't forget the video thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And um, just so you know, I didn't record my voice in a video either so i probably ended up popping up here and there you know letting you know what i'm doing and yeah this was one of those videos i didn't want to just let it slide because i think the makeup turned out pretty good um using these products so with that being said let's get into this video <laughs> shade I'm taking is from the Zulu um, palette is that brown color and I'm just applying that all over on the top of my eyelid then I'm going to go to the teal shade and I'm going to apply that all over my eyelid <music> Then I'm going to take some setting spray and I'm going to go back to that shimmery teal that they have and I'm going to apply this shade in the inner corner as well as the outer corner of my eye. Then I'm going to go to the Saharan 2 palette and I'm going to take that light green that they have and I'm going to apply this on the center of my eyelid doing tapping motions. Then of course I'm going to go back and blend in everything together. back 
to the Sulu palette and going back to that brown and making sure everything is just blend um, together, making sure it looks nice and smooth with no rough edges. the jet gel liner from Pretty Bulgur and I'm going to use my Morphe M250 slash 1 to do my wing like I'll do regular with any other eyeliner. simple therefore I didn't apply falsies but I did do um, three coats of the mascara that way my eyes, my lashes looked on point this is how everything is looking so far and I will be doing the rest of my face off camera and then I'll be back to finish the look for primer I decided to go with the no pore blend Prime Essence by Touch in Soul. This I got on the Boxy Charm in the month of June and I have not been able to try it yet so I was super excited to try it. The foundation that you see right here is Casablanca. It's a bit yellow for my face. Then um, I ended up uh, mixing it with the shade Bogota and it turned out pretty good. Um, I'm mixing everything with my e.l.f. Um, beauty sponge that way everything you know just blend in my face for concealer I'm using the J19 which as you can tell is a bit lighter than what it did online um, but guess what we are going to make this work and I also blend that using my e.l.f. Um, beauty sponge so yeah Look how it good and nicely it blends in the face. To set everything, I'm using their setting powder in the shade Kalahari, and I'm just gonna pour out a little bit in the lid, and I'm using the same beauty sponge to set my face, as well as the concealer. I'm using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula in the shade Endless Summer. That gave me a nice bronze look. I absolutely in love with this bronzer. It smells delicious. For blush, I'm using the ColourPop Super Chop Chic in the shade Count On Me. I am absolutely in love with this blush because it's super easy to use and blend and I love how it looks in my skin complexion. For highlighter, I'm using the Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter. It's one of my to-go highlighters every time I do a makeup look. I absolutely in love with this highlighter is super creamy and super easy to use and the shimmer is just amazing. I'm applying some of the highlighter under my brow bone, um, you know, just to give that pop to my eyes as usual. To get the pop to the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to use this shade Aziza, Aziza from the Saharan um, palette which is going to give me that nice pop in the inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going to go back to the Zulu palette and with a flat brush I'm going to take that shimmery teal color and I'm going to apply it very close to my waterline. Then with a fluffier brush I'm just going to make sure that everything is blend nicely. Then I also apply mascara to my bottom lashes. For my lip 
lips, I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Brooklyn Thorn. It's one of my favorite, 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 all-time favorite lipsticks. I love NYX when it comes to my lips. It just, I feel like the shade is perfect for me. To set my face, I use the Morphe um, setting spray, um, and this is the final look. What do you guys think? Something very simple, very easy to do. I am loving the foundation. Let me know if you have used um, dubious place foundation on anything. And with this being said, it will be on to the next one. Yeah.